Good morning guys, Victoria here. Welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday morning and today I'm starting a weekend gist aka get your shit together, get your apartment in order <laughs> video. I have a long to-do list for this weekend. I have to clean up my apartment, tidy up everything, do laundry, clean the kitchen, clean my desk, um, prepare some Christmas presents, pack and unpack, start packing for when I'm going away. I'm going away in five days for around three weeks. I will be uh, traveling, but also going back home for the holidays. So it's gonna be uh, packing for a lot of different things because I'm going on two trips as well as home to my family. Um, yeah, I just need to tidy up, clean, do my budget for December because this is the first weekend of December. Today is the 3rd of December, so I am still not too left behind with that at least. I was super busy this week. In the last seven days, I think I went out every evening or every day except for one maybe but even on that day i went out to do something during the day so like i'm quite tired at the moment i have couldn't really sleep too long so i'm quite tired but today tonight i'm going skating so i need to be fresh for that too <laughs> so let's see what i can get done today and then the rest we'll do tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna start with tidying up the apartment because let me show you the situation. <laughs> I have a package, I have like bags, all the bags that I used during the week. The kitchen has all kinds of things happening there. I have some Christmas shopping still there from two days ago. I have all these clothes that I was wearing during the week and I need to decide whether it's laundry or whether it's still, you know, half clean so that it can be used again. I need to tidy up that area. I need to clean the bathroom. So we have a lot to do. So let's get started. First things first, let's tackle all the items which are scattered around my apartment and should be put back into their places or determined where they are supposed to go. So do you also smell your clothes when you test if they are still okay to be worn? <laughs> Because that's how I determine, unless there is something visibly dirty on them. went down to start a load of laundry in the laundromat or in the laundry room.
then I tackled the entryway and put everything back into their places there. I started this bag with things that I need to bring home for Christmas. I got, for example, second hand for three euros, this uh, Christmas tree holder thingy, which I might spray paint to a different color. Although green is actually matching the interior of our apartment back home. <laughs> and yeah, I got this in Carla. I went to Carla a few days ago, but brought a bag of stuff that I decluttered during the decluttering challenge. And now I'm going to put all the things that I got as Christmas presents or all the things that I need to bring home for Christmas in here got some kids presents for the kids in the family we got some adult presents too for the big kids in the family no it's, it's for a friend <laughs> um, bath salt also for a friend um, what else did I get I got, I'm not gonna unpack this one, I got a butter dish, this was on my list for myself for Christmas, <laughs> my own Christmas gift, and I'm visiting a friend in Innsbruck in two weeks, so I got something for her too, and since I'm gonna go there from home, I also need to bring this with me to Hungary, and since the butter dish, well the butter dish is for myself, but it's a Christmas present, so I'm bringing it home so that I can show my family that I actually did shop for myself for Christmas. <laughs> I might even put it in a Christmas packaging or something. I also got some tea towels. Um, this is also kind of a Christmas present for myself. And I got this little set for one of the newborn babies in my family, my cousin's son. And then this is for him too. And then I got some small Christmas ornaments for my Christmas tree because last year was the first time that we had a Christmas tree in that apartment and I wanted to have a Christmas tree with green and red ornaments, but then I had to realize that the green ornaments on a green Christmas tree don't really pop. So we were kind of short on ornaments at the end of the day, so I got some more to fill up the holes. <laughs> and that's it. Is it? Ah, I got something in Talia. Ah, I can win some discounts in Talia, which is a bookstore, they also sell toys, I also got the bus out there, I got this puzzle there, and the double um, game also there. Okay, that's cool. So these are the Christmas things that I need to bring home. Well, for now, this, this will grow eventually. I need to reorganize this a little bit. So these are the things that I decluttered and I'm bringing back home. Some of these I will give to the kids in the family. These like pencils, this um, wristband, this pencil case and this uh, kind of Lego, mini Lego game. I'm going to give, give it to the kids in my family. And these were books. Yeah, I will just bring back home. So this is also mine in here. And then I just wanted to rearrange here a little bit. Because the Dyson I already put down here, however. I still need to put... Oh, this one. 
next one. go down for my skates and I need to store my skates here too. But because I'm not using it and because it's full leather, yeah, you can already see it here. It's going to start to fall apart. But also here as well, like it's falling apart and this is one of the reasons why I'm not using it. But other than that, it's so pretty. plastic that I have on my red very thick winter jacket when I'm when it's not winter but now I'm using it so I'm gonna put it on another jacket. I have some holes on the ceiling because I switched out the light and this has happened oh, two years ago and I still haven't filled the holes in hmm. oopsie -dee. okay I have a whole shelf empty wow <laughs> um yeah okay and then I have these things that I'm trying to sell but nobody wants them so maybe I should just give them away for free jars for now okay and then I have this bag of clothes which I'm also trying to sell oh, but it has not been so empty in a long time but I'm gonna put these shoes in here. <laughs> and of course this bag. It's already better than before. It is time to take out the first round of laundry and hang it to dry and I'm also loading in the second round of laundry at this time. hungry so I'm going to prepare lunch and I'm going to make a red pepper fettuccine except that I don't have fettuccine so I'm just gonna make it with a, another kind of random pasta and the red pepper butter cream I already had prepared long before and it was frozen in my freezer so it's just a very easy recipe I just need to cook the pasta and I need to cook the shrimps 
but the, the flavoring, the seasoning, the, the cream that goes on uh, is already ready made because, and I t already told it, it was in the fridge since yesterday, so I hope it's creamy now and can be used right away. So I just need pasta and mushrooms and quickly put everything together. Slime with plastic. Actually, this cannot be recycled. I don't think it can. The shrimps are now in the garlic butter, red pepper, garlic butter. They are still frozen, so it needs a bit of time. And the pasta is cooking away. Oops. We are soon ready to put these two together. I put some extra basil on the shrimps and some lemon. The rest of the garlic red pepper butter is on here. And we're gonna mix these up and I will sparkle some goat cheese on top because I have a pack of goat cheese that I need to use up. All right, guys, it's ready. I mix them up. I cut the shrimps into smaller pieces because they were just way too big for my liking. <laughs> I'm gonna taste test it now. Maybe it's a bit too late for that, but I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit of salt would be good. Here is the ready meal. This is my lunch. I put some goat cheese on top and some spring onions. That's it. After lunch, it was finally time to get this kitchen in order, do the dishes, put everything back to their locations and have it nice and clean. Time to unpack my handbags and also that package that I received. One of my Christmas presents to myself came in the post this morning. So let's do some unpacking. stickers on this one normally I don't
don't like to order from abroad but in this case it was necessary but at least the packaging is not much bigger than the thing that I ordered because sometimes the box saying that the thing that I order comes in is three four times as big <laughs> this time I think it's almost the same size the Harry Potter Hogwarts bottle board game for myself for Christmas <laughs> in English so that's why I had to order it from abroad because here in Austria you can find it only in German or it's very expensive uh, if you want the English version and of course in Hungary you can get the Hungarian version but I wanted the English one so that I can play with my international friends uh, and also because that's probably the most universally known when it comes to the different names that the different things within the Harry Potter world were translated to because in Hungary for example in Hungarian a lot of the things were translated to Hungarian and they are very very different than in English but even most of my Hungarian friends, I don't have that many Hungarian friends, but most of them would understand the English one. And of course, here in Vienna or in general, most of my friends are international from all over the world. So it only made sense to get this film in English for everyone to understand. And I played this game two weeks ago when I was visiting a friend in uh, Hungary. I played the Hungarian version with them. And it was very addictive. It was so much fun. And I can't wait to play it. I didn't know that it was going to come today. Yeah, so tomorrow I might already play it with Joanna and her boyfriend. You can play it with two, three or four players. And you are together. The players are together against the game. So I don't think I have ever played such a board game and, and it's, I like it because you are together so there is no competitiveness involved. <laughs> there is no like winner and loser. Anyway, tomorrow, can't wait. <laughs> Now it is time to do a little bit of computer work and edit the video that I just went online before this one. I got this uh, insulation reflection thingy for behind my heaters so that it reflects back the heat and the heat doesn't escape through the wall behind it and I was trying to install it uh, I was facing a little bit of difficulty it wasn't as easy as I expected it to be but I managed eventually a bit of trial and error
I finished up the kitchen and the whole apartment with hoovering and also washing up the floor in the kitchen as the last step of cleaning the apartment. working on my expenses and December budget a little bit just to see where I'm standing with the finances with this I'm closing today's video we have achieved a lot this weekend I even managed to take a nap yesterday afternoon <laughs> and it's only 1 p.m. so now I'm gonna take a bath wash my hair I'm expecting some guests in the evening to play some Harry Potter board game so I'm going to get ready for that. We will order some food and we will have a nice evening in. I just finished uh, budgeting for December. I put away all the things that needed to be put away. I cleaned the kitchen, I cleaned the surfaces, I put stuff back into their places. I feel much better starting the next week with a fresh start. I'm only staying until next Thursday here in Vienna so only a few days left uh, and then I'm gonna leave so probably I won't post uh, videos that frequently I might have some travel vlogs coming up since I will be traveling uh, to different locations but uh, yeah I definitely won't be posting two videos a week so you should um, not expect that uh, this time around I will be definitely back in January with new content and until then I hope you will have a nice Christmas and enjoy your holidays and New Year's or if you celebrate of course and or whatever you celebrate uh, happy holidays and I'm looking forward to see you at my next videos until then bye bye